guys welcome back again to motion cube uh, today we will learn how to make uh, three common transition uh, that you can use in your video and if we have uh, much time we will make four now we're going to start with the first one I have two images here uh, we're gonna throw the first image uh, right in the comp here and you see it's a full HD but the size is big so what I want to do is pre-comp that uh, or you know what let's just scale it down first I'm just gonna scale it here and now we're going to make uh, pre-comp leave all attributes and the second image is this city here I'm gonna put it right above it and let's also scale it of course press S and scale it and now we're going to pre-comp that now I'm gonna uh, go to the slider about uh, two second just you know maybe yeah two second here and I'm gonna bring that other image uh, right over here so this is the first uh, simple thing you're gonna do because now we're going to create the transition now the first uh, transition is going to be uh, a slider transition uh, going to the left or to the right the slide transition I name it like this I don't know what the real name of this transition but I name it uh, slide transition so I'm gonna uh, go to position here let's say you know in the middle here and I want to press control I want to press shift and page down so I'm gonna go 10 frame then I'm gonna press it again and page down shift and page down so it's now 20 uh, frame you go 20 frame and here now let's hide the first one so we can see what's going on here now I want to move it out of the frame here and let's uh, select the keyframe press F9 that's what we have now the problem is that we have uh, a cut image here and we need to fill it so we're going to go to effect and preset and right tile let's go to CC rip tile and let's go to the right and fill it until you have a decent amount of image now if you think that you need more you can bring the position more so it's going to be faster okay and if you want to fix this uh, issue here you can go to unfold and you have it okay now the other image here now for this uh, particular uh, keyframe I'm gonna go to graph editor and if you can't see the graph editor you can go right and uh, check uh, sometime it's going to be in a value here so if it's like this in, uh, in your uh, screen just go and edit speed graph I'm gonna select the first key here and the second key which we can use it uh, manually in motion tools here okay so 20 frame like that and the other one now um, we go to the graph editor and we see where is the maximum uh, power of movement which is here the peak so we're going to press uh, alt and the brackets which is uh, uh, less than the sign on the keyboard it's the brackets okay so this is what we have now and we're gonna go to the other uh, image and let's bring it right to the beginning of the uh, of the position here I'm gonna press P and go to the other one here and right now we will move it 
Ah, we didn't uh, show it yet. It's the city. I'm gonna go to the inverse. Okay. Okay, and we're going also to um, copy the uh, CC reptile, throw it, but we need to reset. I'm going to go to the left. And until you fill the image here, also let's go to uh, unfold. And we're going to make exactly as we did to the other image and here we're going to cut in the in the uh, in the peak of uh, of the first image we're going to cut to the new image so this is what we have now very smooth transition now this is the first transition now if you want to enhance this uh, what you can do is uh, you can um, you can put the motion blur on the image so this is what you have Okay, so this is the first uh, transition. Let's go now to the other transition, which is the scale transition. So, um, let's create a new comp. Let's go to the project, create a new comp. Put this down also. And now it's gonna be the scale, let's go right just what we did before so this is the city now in this case we will use a uh, the scale which is the S so let's press a scale here and we're gonna press shift page uh, down two time I'm gonna bring it right well, I'm scale it like nine. Nine is good. And we're gonna go to CC reptile again, and we're going to bring it, expand it right from the left and the right, the top and the down, until we fill uh, the image. And let's make it uh, unfold. Now this is what we have. Also, let's make it uh, more smooth. The keyframe. Like this. Now the other one, we'll bring that scale, and in this case we will go very close, like here, and it will go back to the normal scale. I'll press F9, and okay. okay. Now, as I told you before, I'm going to go to the maximum the peak of the animation of the scale here and which is right over here but I want you know to go beyond that in this uh, particular uh, transition so I can show that one here and uh, for the other one here I can cut it right from here you know you can bring it more it's really up to you so this is what we have Okay. Now, if you want to make it more interesting, what you can do, you can add a lens. So let's add a lens now. So I'm going to go right over here. Let's uh, bring a lens, CC lens, and uh, the lens is going to start now. The convergence, if you make it zero, you will have a zero lens, and you can of course bring the scale don't worry and you see the convergence uh, now we're gonna make an animation on the convergence press U so you can view the key and when it's going let's um, go right over here and of course the scale will be big here gonna add a convergence about 100 so this is what we have and the two the other one here 
we will make another convergence CC. We can copy that, Control C, and go to the other uh, image here. Apply the uh, CC lens. Now I want at the beginning to be 100, and in the end here it's going to be a zero. Okay. Now you can also bring this effect, so you can. Okay, you see, maybe a more. You can play with it how it suit you. Anyway, so this is the scale transition. Now we have the rotation transition. So let's make the rotation transition. Now, the rotation transition. We're going to apply a null object, which is going to control the rotation. And we're going to go to here. And uh, let's attach uh, those two here. And let's go rotation. And I'm going to go uh, shift page down two time. And let's rotate it uh, 36 degree. And let's make it smooth, the animation. Okay, like this. Now, also at the peak, this rotation here. We're going to press the Alt and the brackets. So the city, then uh, the forest here. Another thing that we need to add is. Uh, to fill this uh, area compensation at the lens yeah zero with this uh, Okay, so now to fill this, uh, we need to go to CC Lens, for the first one here. Now let's uh, bring the size to 100, and the convergence. Uh, now we already fill it, as you can see here, but you can make it uh, zero now when it's rotating. You can fill it. Uh, it the convergent okay just like that make it smooth okay and the other one here let's copy that CC lens and paste it on the other one here of course we will uh, bring the size and we have that key which we're going to make it large and then make this zero. But now we still have this cut here, so we need to increase the size. Okay, now we can play with this, you know. Yeah, here we're gonna fill it. So let's see. Okay. Looks good. So let's play it. Yeah.
So this is the rotation uh, transition. Now as you can see, we did the slider transition, we did the, uh, uh, the zoom transition, and we did now the rotation transition, rotate transition. Now last one, and it's very easy, you know, uh, let's make a new comp. It's going to be the, l the lens flare transition. So let's bring those two images again here, scale it down. Okay, so after two, uh, two seconds, the other image will start. And uh, in this case, we will add an adjustment layer. And I'm going to add a lens flare. See, uh, Lens flare. It's a built in plugin in After Effects. It's not a uh, video copilot plugin which is Lens Flare. It's the Lens Flare After Effect, which, which is an all After Effect version. So I'm going to place it right in the, uh, uh, in the side here. Let's make the animation. So I'm going to go uh, right to Flare Center, press U, and press Shift Page Down two times and then bring it to the other side here. So we got this animation. Now in the center here, uh, now let's go to the flare brightness, press U, and here the brightness is 100. At the center here, it's gonna be like uh, about 200, and then it's gonna be back to the other um, key here which is going to be 100 so I'm gonna make it smooth F9 so this is the lens flare we have here now at the center here when there is the maximum amount of light in the scene we will shift to the other image so let's go here so here we have the forest then it will go to the city and if you want to make it more dynamic you can go inside that image here press scale and go 10 frame and add 10 second not 10 frame and add subtle uh, scale here just like this go back to the other comp here scale 10 second and add subtle scale. Now this is what you have. Scale, lens flare is going to continue its scaling. Okay. So we we'll reach the end of our tutorial today. Uh, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you learn something new. Uh, please subscribe to the channel to uh, to help me to grow this channel. So there's a lot of content coming in the future. Uh, so thank you and thank uh, to all the new subscribers. And uh, I know there's uh, still uh, not a lot of views on my videos, but let's hope that this channel will grow in the future. Thank you.